Despite being born into a wealthy family, Humphrey de Forrest Bogart was born on Christmas Day and predictably always felt it had been cheated out of a birthday. He's been celebrated in songs such as 4HB by Brian Ferry and spoofed in Bugs Bunny cartoons. The three films most people associate Humphrey Bogart with are Casablanca, 1942, The Big Sleep, 1946, and To Have and Have Not, 1944, all of which are incredibly likeable and still very watchable. When people impersonate Bogart, they tend to have him respond to the you-know-how-to-whistle line from To Have and Have Not, or they have him dressed in the white suit from Casablanca telling a piano player to play it again, Sam, even though Bogart never said those exact words. However, Bogie's best work were the films he made with the director John Houston, The Maltese Falcon, 1941, Key Largo, 1948, The Treasures of Sierra Madre, also in 1948, The African Queen, 1951, and Beat the Devil, 1953. He believed the best of his collaborations with Houston was The Maltese Falcon, which he described as being a masterpiece. Humphrey Bogart appeared in 75 motion pictures. The first was a gangster movie called The Petrified Forest, and for several years he was offered similar roles in similar movies. He once said, There must be something in my tone of voice, or this arrogant face, something that antagonises everybody. Nobody likes me on sight. I suppose that's why I'm cast as the heavy. One of the best of the early films is Angels with Dirty Faces, 1938, in which his character gets shot by James Cagney. Bogart rarely saw his own films and didn't attend the premieres. He was friends with the Rat Pack, and like them he was rarely seen without a drink in his hand and a cigarette in his mouth. There are probably as many witty booze-based quotes attributed to Bogart as there are to Dean Martin. Some of the best are... The problem with the world is that everyone is a few drinks behind. Things are never so bad they can't be made worse. And I don't trust any bastard who doesn't drink. People who don't drink are afraid of revealing themselves. The last of these quotes was said whilst in conversation with his friend Joe Hyams. It was Hyams who got to write the only authorised biography of Bogart. According to him, Bogie loved to play chess and would quote from Plato, Emerson and Pope, and was slightly obsessed with the works of Shakespeare. Another of Bogart's passions was sailing. During the war, he'd served in the Navy, and as soon as he was rich enough, he bought himself a yacht. Perhaps the weirdest fact about Bogart is that he is a distant relation of Princess Diana. They are ninth cousins, once removed. Despite being of English descent, Bogart was unable to master a Cockney accent, so his character in The African Queen had to become a Canadian. When he died of cancer in 1957, Lauren Bacall, who was the love of his life, said, There is not a good friend or acquaintance of Humphrey Bogart's life who was not better for having known him, and whose life is now less good because he's not around.